guys, we are back. It's time for another set of Purunga Dragon Balls. Uh, remember that Dokkan intentionally makes it very easy uh, to obtain a lot of these Purunga Dragon Balls. Just to make it a little bit, again, easier for kind of like newer players or returning players um, to be able to really take advantage um, of, you know, basically the, the strong rewards of it. So today is very easy. All we have to do is Dokkan Awaken a character. That's all we have to do in order to actually get um, uh, today's Prunga Dragon Ball. I had a character ready for this. It's this one right here. Let's go ahead and Dokkan Awaken this Hercule. Obviously, I'm at the point where I have every character basically Dokkan Awakened. So there we go. We Dokkan Awakened him. And then wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. There is our first Prunga Dragon Ball very good. All right, guys. We are back for the next Purunga Dragon Ball. Today's Dragon Ball is going to be very, very easy to get. Um, all we have to do is wait for the special banner, and that looks to be it right there. Yeah, that that is definitely the special banner that we have to hit. Uh, down here, you know, they always will kind of like, you know, preview a bunch of events and stuff like that. I remember a while back, there used to be like little dots that would show like how many things are there, but... I guess, I mean, this just goes on forever and ever and ever at this point. So, all we have to do is go ahead and hit this right here. Click and click. Oh, we clicked it. We, I clicked it. He clicked it. And then, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. We get our second Purunga Dragon Ball. Um, until next time. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and get today's Purunga Dragon Ball. This one is pretty easy. All we have to do is clear a stage using only super attacks. There's many different potential stages we could do. But I'm just going to go ahead and hop into this event right here. This is the stage where we can get um, equipment for the Ginyu Force characters. Um, and remember, there's also a stage for the Team Bardock characters, right? So with a mission like this, where you have to beat it with just super attacks, um, all you have to do is just get the super attacks, like the initial character super attack, right? If you get additional, like hidden potential system additionals that are normals or something like that, that is okay. All it just has to be is only super attacks from the main attacks, um, and then we will be good to go here. And bam, there we go. We got the third Purunga Dragon Ball, so that is three of them. Uh, until tomorrow. All right, guys, we are back to get the next Purunga Dragon Ball. Uh, today is the four-star Dragon Ball of set two. This one is going to be pretty easy. Now, every character in my box is already max um, level. Um, so I'm just going to give an Elder Kai to one of these guys. Uh, avert your eyes, um, you know, responsible Dokkaners, because we're we're going to do some dirty things. Let's go ahead and add this Grand Elder Kai right here. We need to use a training location to get today's Prunga Dragon Ball. I'll just go ahead and get uh, an essay level on Bandages the Mummy right here. And then, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, we have our next Dragon Ball. So, there is the four-star Dragon Ball. Uh, definitely excited to make the wish. Maybe get some of those uh, tickets for the Tanabata banner. We will see. All right, guys. We are back for another Purunga Dragon Ball today. Um, Today's Dragon Ball is super easy to get. All you have to do is collect an incredible gem. Um, right now, the best Link level stage on JP, which we're doing right here, stage 31-4, gives you blue Incredible Gems and green Incredible Gems. And even the best stage currently on Global, which is stage 34, also gives you lots of green Incredible Gems. So this is going to be a very simple Purunga Dragon Ball. Essentially, it's just do one Link level run, um, and we are going to be able to get this Purunga Dragon Ball. All right, so we got the stage cleared. Wabam, there we go. There is the five-star Purunga Dragon Ball. Again, this one's going to be exciting because we can make a wish and get tickets for the Tanabata banner, which is definitely a huge W. So let me know what you guys think. Until tomorrow. All right, guys, we are back for another Purunga Dragon Ball. Today's is very, very easy. All we have to do for today's Purunga Dragon Ball is we just have to give a character a skill orb. Um, any type of skill orb will suffice. We just want to give a character uh, a skill orb to power up their abilities. Um, and that is actually going to go ahead and give us the Prunga Dragon Ball. So let's go ahead and put a skill orb on Vegeta real fast here. So there we go, guys. Very, very easy to get today's Prunga Dragon Ball. Again, all we got to do is just pop that skill orb. 
Um, and wham, bam, thank you. We are here. So now uh, we only have one more Dragon Ball to get after this. Uh, and then we can make our wish, get some tickets, and hopefully maybe have some good luck uh, on the Tanabata banner. All right, guys, we are going to get the final Purunga Dragon Ball here for set two. Um, this Dragon Ball is going to be very simple. All we have to do is use a Dende item, wabam, and then we are good to go with the Dende item, right? Uh, all we have to do is just go ahead and pop a Dende item. We will finish out this fight, um, and then we will be able to get our Purunga Dragon Ball, and then we will be well on to making our wish, which, again, this, this second set is going to be nice. Because this can allow us to get the um, uh, tickets, the Tanabata tickets for the banner, which is going to be very awesome. So we'll just quickly finish this fight off right here, uh, and then we'll go ahead and get our Prunga Dragon Ball. Alright, so the event is done, and then wabam! We get our delicious reward, there we go, there is the seventh ball. Time to go ahead and hop into our wish. Alright guys, we've got all seven delicious tasty treats right here let's dig in let's let's unleash upon the dokan shenron right here let's uh let's see what old Paranga boy has got for us um now you guys know the drill uh again i am uh, there was one time where the order was not the same so every single time forever now we are going to be very very cautious um to ensure um that we make our correct picks all right, so this first one right here, this is only for the second set. Uh, what this gives us, oh, whoops. Uh, what this gives us is this right here, three Tanabata tickets. Um, I don't think that this is a bad idea. If, if you are like a free-to-play player or something like that, grabbing these three tickets right here, I think would be pretty good to do. Um, the next one right here. Um, this is, indeed it is, this is Grand Elder Kai's right here. I think that that's not a terrible pick to go ahead and grab. Uh, next up, uh, this is indeed Potential System Orbs. I also think that this is a pretty good pick. You can go ahead and grab Potential System Orbs. You can get value out of this for sure. Um, I know, again, I can hear, you know, free-to-play players yelling at me, We're not all whales like you. I'm not in credit card debt like you. I don't need to. Okay, man. I, I got it. I got it. But orbs are still useful, man. No matter what, what anyone says. Because the thing is, a lot of the other stuff on here, we're going to get to this. We can just grind up infinitely all day, every day. Orbs, you cannot. All right, so we have that. Uh, next, uh, this is... Yes, this is the delicious, delicious meats right here. Um, I do think that meat is a very good idea as a free-to-play player to go for, for sure. Uh, next, this... Yes, this is this is keys right here. Um, you certainly can go for keys. I mean, I, I believe I probably am going to, to wish for keys. Uh, one of the wishes we're going to get is going to be keys, probably. Just because this is a limited resource. Um, again, that you can't just grind up all day every day, right? A lot of the other stuff we can. Um, but I don't know. As, like, a free-to-play player, I don't know how valuable keys are actually going to be. I mean, maybe you could, you know, get to... Like, if you're a newer player, keys are way more valuable, I think. But, like, if you're, like, a long-time free-to-play player, I don't know that keys are really going to be that great. Uh, then next we have... Yeah, so this is this. I, I, I mean, okay. And then the last one is... It is, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um... These two, I mean, looking at this, these two should be combined. I, I I, really think, you know, if they combined these last two, I still would tell people not to pick these. I, people are going to see the Incredible Gems and stuff like that, and they're going to get antsy in the pantsy. They're going to select it. Incredible Gems are just so goddamn easy to get these days. Even if you don't like link leveling, my simple recommendation to players is just use your boosts, your daily boosts on link leveling, and you do the daily Roshi states. That's it. That literally is like under, that's like seven minutes. Your three boosts and then the Roshi stage, boom, that's it, you're done. And if you're, you know, using your boosts while link leveling on, right now as a gold player, it'd be stage 34. As a JP player, it's stage 31 for, you know, you're picking up these currency, especially stage 31 for on JP, you're getting green and blue incredible gems at the same time. They just revamped the Bulma event, so you can get all this, dude, this, th this is 20 minutes of grinding in the Bulma event. I, like, I know, you know, people, they, they, again, they love being smart asses, man. It's fine. Please, continue to do it. But allow me to back talk right back. It's ridiculous. It, you're just, you're wasting so much. Like, don't do this, man. And then down here, I know that this is a lot. And this is 
Five seconds of grinding! Zenny's not that tough to get. They revamped the Hercule stage. Um, you know, you could also just grind up uh, easy A's and stuff like that. Like, Zenny is not tough. And, I mean, I accumulate a huge amount of Zenny just from link leveling. But, I mean, I don't expect players to link level even one hundredth of the time I'm link leveling, right? But you still are getting Zenny with clearing every stage. Because I, I, you get the Zenny uh, statues here. You get a lot of um, Awakening medals. The thing is, like, Awakening medals and training items and training locations... You can purchase this all with Zenny or Incredible Gems, a lot of the stuff. Like, it's just, you know, they made... These wishes were valuable, like, in, like, five years ago, during the third anniversary when they started doing these Dragon Balls. Nowadays, though, Dokkan made great strides to make these resources easier to obtain. So, my recommendation for free-to-play players is get your tickets, and then, you know, Kai's, Orbs, Meat in there like i i, I think you it, as a free-to-play player i i would recommend one of these four you you get these four you pick from these four right here stamina is probably a must kai's won't hurt you tickets won't hurt you orbs won't hurt you um you know you uh keys are not a resource you can just grind up all the time um but you know th this stuff is just, it's just yeah please man please uh, this is, uh, literally i'd fall to my knees and look up. I'm looking up at you mighty free-to-play players. You know, don't waste your wishes on nonsense, man. Uh, Alright, so we're going to grab potential orbs. I'm going to grab meat. And I'm going to grab keys. Uh, those are the three things I will be picking up. Uh, because those are... Not grindable. That is why I'm doing that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So we'll grab those. Now, the last thing is, remember, one of the wishes we could have done here would have given us uh, tickets for the Tana Bada Banner. I'm not going to do that because, I, I mean, there actually, funny enough, is some characters. Like, I could use their SSRs and stuff like that. I, I certainly could. Yeah, I mean, this is worth it. I, I do love this. This is good. Yeah, I will definitely take the orbs and all this. Nice, 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 nice. Let, let me just go take a look real fast at the Tana Bada Banner, um, which is that right there. What, what is this? Oh, 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 this is, this is God Goku's banner. Oh, and some Elder Kai I should do. Uh, hmm. God, Goku, Pan, and that Vegeta, huh? Okay. So, let's take a look here. Oh, wow. I have quite a few. I almost... Damn, I, I almost want to... I might turn this into a separate video. Since I have so many, I'm going to turn this into a separate video. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Well, good luck if you guys got uh, tickets on the Tanabata banner. They gave out a lot of these, actually, because I did some when the banner first came out, huh? They gave a decent amount for this. There's players who are picking up these characters for free, man. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So let me know what you guys think uh, about Purunga and all the good stuff. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.